What's good, everybody? All right, so we got AP locked up as our head coach, but the GM news has not dropped. Mark Davis, he's still kind of putting his work in. I like the fact that he's doing his homework. I like the fact that he is you know, bringing in people for second interviews. That just tells me I think he's really trying to get this right. So I want to kind of do a recap of where we stand now. I'm going to throw out, I think, what the plan A is versus what plan B is based on some information or some news that dropped today. And I want to give you some scenarios that I think might play out and how I feel about them and what my favorite scenario will be. So before I get into it, Larry Fleming, you were one of my winners in my previous giveaway. Please reach out to me so I can get you your giveaway. And if you guys can, please like, subscribe, turn on those notifications. I'm going to do my next giveaway at 2,500. All my subscribers will be included. So once I get 2,500 subscribers, I'm going to do my next giveaway. So I hope you're involved in that. And one last thing. Derek Harris at Raider Fan NC. I appreciate the support, man, you have been giving me over the last few months. I've only been doing this for a few months, and, man, you've been uh, showing a lot of support. So I just want to give you a quick shout-out for you guys, all you guys that are viewing this. Please hit him up on social media. I know he's on Twitter, Raider Fan NC. Derek Harris, go reach out to him. Follow him as well. I appreciate it. So let's kind of start this thing out, right? Initially, I wanted the – announcement of a GM first, because I want this to be a GM run organization. I want the GM to hold everybody underneath him accountable for what, um, for the moves that they make. And so it didn't play out that way. AP was announced. I think the majority of Raider Nation is stoked about it. I'm stoked about it, but we're now re, um, waiting on who the next GM is going to be. Now, Here's my take. I think that there's a plan A and a plan B, right? I think plan A is that Ed Dodds and Champ Kelly will be in this front office. I think they're trying to figure out a way that both of them can be a part of this. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Now, there was a report that Tom Telesco, the ex-GM for the Chargers, is going to be doing a second interview today. And so, you know, I think plan B is possibly a Tom Telesco and Trey Brown, the uh, which is part of the, the Cincinnati organization, his name was kind of thrown into the situation as well. So I think plan A might be a, a combo uh, a combo of Ed Dodds and Champ Kelly, and then plan B might be a Tom Telesco, Trey Brown. But I'm also going to give you guys some scenarios that I think might play out, and I'm going to give you my favorite one. So kind of let's dive into those scenarios, right? I think the first scenario is – it's either going to be an Ed Dodds or Champ Kelly by themselves because you got to remember Champ Kelly. He already interviewed with the Carolina Panthers. If Champ Kelly does get a general manager job with another organization, we get two third round compensation picks. So that's something to watch out for. And so um, it could be either Ed Dodds by himself or Champ Kelly by himself. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but we'll see. I think scenario two is Champ Kelly GM, Ed Dodds assistant, I assistant GM. I think that's unlikely because Ed Dodds is the assistant GM over with the Colts right now. Unless we pay him more money to entice him to make a lateral move, I'm not exactly sure why he'd make that move. You know, I do think because he's been with um, the Colts organization as assistant GM since 2018, he's probably trying to find his way to a GM position, the head GM spot. So, I don't think a lateral move is very likely. Now, scenario three, and this is my favorite, is a Ed Dodds GM and then a Champ Kelly assistant GM setup. That's my favorite. Let me tell you why and, and kind of give you my, my explanation. So first, I really like Ed Dodds. You know, Ed Dodds was with Seattle since 2007, I believe. I believe it was 2007. He saw the development of the Legion of Boom, one of the best, best defenses we have ever seen in the NFL. He saw the draft picks of, of Richard Sherman, of KJ Wright, of Bobby Wagner, um, Earl Thomas, um, of Cam Chancellor, you know, so, and he also saw the development of that offense with Tyler Lockett, Russell Wilson, uh, Russell Okun, you know, one of the best, uh, one of the best left tackles during that time. He's seen the development of that Super Bowl winning team. And so, and then he moved over in 2018 to the Colts, worked his way into an assistant GM position, or I think it was 2017, and then he worked his way into the assistant GM role. And so he has a lot of experience. And Champ Kelly's really only been in that assistant GM role for two years. So I love the experience that Ed Dodds brings to the table. And also, 
I love the fact that Ed Dodge really doesn't have any ties to Antonio Pierce, which means I don't think there's going to be any favoritism. I don't. I think Ed Dodge is going to come to the table with being able to hold everybody accountable for whatever moves are made. I think Ed Dodds is going to come with an open mind and give his opinion without any bias. And that's what I want. And so scenario three, Ed Dodds, GM, champ, Kelly, assistant GM. That's my favorite. And scenario four, I think it possibly could be an Ed Dodds GM with Tom Telesco as an assistant, which I wouldn't be mad at it. And I'll tell you why. Tom Telesco, I think, and, and obviously with Ed Dodds being the GM, for all the reasons I just stated, I love, I would love seeing him there. But then you look at Tom Telesco. Tom Telesco developed a great roster over there with the Chargers. Now, he was not, he was not good at picking a GM, or I'm sorry, a head coach. That's I, I think everybody can agree to that. Uh, and he had struggles with negotiating contracts. He, he did bring people in, but, but the Chargers right now are in such cap hell. They have to basically offload a lot of players. I'm, I'm sure Cleo Mack is not going to be there next year. Derwin James, their, their safety over there. I don't think he's going to be over there at all. Austin Eckler may not be over there as well. I know he's a free agent this year. I don't think they're going to resign him. They're going to have to restructure a lot of contracts, but their draft history is extremely good. So if you look at what Tom Telesco was able to do as a per, on a personnel side, I really like what he did. He brought in some good talent. He drafted extremely well. And if you can bring that to the table with Ed Dodds as the GM, I'd be a fan of it. So guys, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of my scenarios? No, what do you think of my scenarios? Let's recap them just really quick. You got Champ Kelly or Ed Dodds by themselves. Scenario number two, you got Champ Kelly as a GM, Ed Dodds as an assistant. Again, I don't think that's likely because why Ed Dodds would do a lateral movement. I'm not sure. Scenario three, which is my favorite, Ed Dodds as the head GM, Champ Kelly as an assistant. As an assistant, I love Ed Dodds' experience and what he's seen through his years in front in, within the front office. He's got uh, five years of assistant uh, GM experience. Then you got Champ Kelly, that which I think is still learning. So I like scenario three. And then you got scenario four, Ed Dodge GM, Tom Telesco as an assistant GM. Let me know in the comments down below what you think of that. I hope, I, I think Ian Rappaport came out today that he thinks the decision might be made probably by the end of today, which is Monday or possibly tomorrow. And so let's keep an eye out. Let's see what happens. I hope Mark Davis continues just to do his homework does his research, and gets this, this decision right. So I appreciate you guys sticking with me. Let me know uh, what your reaction is to my thoughts, and give me your feedback. Give me your feedback. I love interacting with you guys. So I appreciate you guys. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm out.